Okay, so as you can see that this one was created in an isometric view. So the first thing we're going to have to do is learn how to switch AutoCAD over to isometric. And the important things I want you to pay attention to are that these circles are not drawn with the regular circle command. So some of the rules that you create when you are that you have to go by when you're dealing with isometric drawings is that you have to create all your circles, fillets, arcs, all of those are created with an iso circle or an ellipse. Now I will show you, demonstrate to you in this example how to use iso circles. And you also have to be aware of what plane you're in. So we'll discuss that as we go through the videos as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch on over to AutoCAD and start drafting this one. So the first thing that you have to do is tell AutoCAD that you want to do drafting in an isometric view. The quickest way of doing that is selecting this icon here that's called IsoDraft. Once you click on it and it will turn blue, you can see that your cursor is now in an isometric view. You have an option of switching between each plane that you want to go through by the isometric right, top, and left, or you can simply press the function key 5 on your keyboard and as you're doing that you're going to get them to cycle through and you're going to see the confirmation of it here on your command line. To get out of isometric drafting simply just click on this icon that got you in and everything goes back to normal. Let's go ahead and switch into isometric drafting and I'm going to start off on isometric top. So my icon looks like this. I want to create a circle at the top and remember I have to use an ellipse to do that with. The command that I want to use is not located in the command line and it will, oh, I'm sorry, up on the ribbon and it will not appear unless you physically type it in. So I'm going to type in EL which is the shortcut for ellipse as you can see. Select the ellipse and then on my command line I'll get the option for an ISO circle. Go ahead and select ISO circle. I'll click here's my center and then I want to specify the diameter so I'll click the word diameter and tell it that it's 3. So now I created an ISO circle that's at 3 at, as its diameter and it's on the top plane. You can cycle through each one of those so if you're on the wrong plane for example and I'll step through that here if I go back to the ellipse command ISO circle and I click here and as I'm starting to create that and I notice that I'm on the wrong plane I can hit the F5 key and you can see that I can cycle through each one of those planes. Once again I am getting a confirmation on my command line. I'll just escape out of that one. Okay so let's go ahead and put the circle that has a radius I'm sorry as a diameter of 0.5 on the inside of this one. So once again, I want to make sure that I'm in isometric top. Then I want to type in EL. And that stands for ellipse. Enter. Select the word ISO circle. Go ahead and touch this circle. And then click on the center. Always give yourself a preview of it. And then type in the diameter, in this case, which is 0.5. Oh, I never switched over to the diameter of 0.5. Let me redo that one. So I'll go ahead and erase this ISO circle. Ellipse. ISO circle. Touch. Go to the center. Select the word diameter. And now type in 0.5. Okay, so according to the drawing, this side has a height of 0.5. I'm sorry, a height of 1, and then the bar that's separating them or connecting the two has a height of 0.5. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I go to isometric right. Then I want to select the copy command. Select your ellipse. Enter. Select a base point. I'll click here. Make sure that you're going down. And what I like to do anytime I'm creating isometrics is I usually leave my ortho mode turned on. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going down and I will type in 0.5 enter and then 1 enter. 
and then escape. That should give me everything I need to create these the, the cylinder on the, along this side. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy these two lines over a distance this direction at point what 4.5. So I'm going to switch to isometric top again, select copy, select these two ellipses, I'll pick a base point here, as long as I'm aiming this direction, I want you to type in 4.5, enter, then escape. Next I have to copy this line, or this ellipse going down a distance of 0.5. So let's go to copy, select this ellipse, enter. I'm going to switch to isometric right by selecting the function key 5 key. I'll select a base point here. I'm going to aim down this direction of 0.5, enter. And then I want to go up this direction, 1.5, enter. Then escape. Next thing I need to do is I want to draw a line from this circle, so from the center of this circle to the center of this circle. So I'm just going to use a regular line command, scroll in just a little bit, and you're going to get three centers that you're going to see appear. So you got to keep in mind that as I touch this bottom ellipse, that's the plus I want to go and select on. Click that one. I'm going to come along to this one and I need the second center on this side. So you can see the first one as I come up and touch that one. There's my second center. Go ahead and click on that one. And then escape. Now the offset command does not work when you're using ellipses. You can use offset, but it won't come out to the true length or true offset that you're looking for. I'm going to switch to isometric top. Then next I'm going to use the copy command, select the line that I just created, enter, pick a base point here, then I'm going to drag it to this left direction and type in 1.5, enter. I'll do the same going this direction, so I'm going to drag this direction, 1.5, enter. Then I will escape. I can delete this center line that I have. Next thing I want to do is I want to copy these two lines that I just created up a distance of 0.5. So let's go to copy. Let's select these two lines. Enter. I'll click a base point. And then I need to switch my plane that I am. So I hit the F5 key and switch back to isometric right. I want to make sure I'm going the up direction. Then type in 0.5. Then escape. Okay. So what I need to do is I'm going to do a little cleaning up here. Just to make things a little bit simpler for me. I see that this line here stops at this circle. And this one I won't see at all. So let's go ahead and delete this line. Select it and erase it. I'll go to trim and I'm going to trim this line here off at this location here and then this arc that I have going here I'm going to wait on that one because I have to put some other lines on. Let's go ahead and escape. Let's go ahead and put our finishing lines on. So I'm going to create a line from this quadrant. Let me zoom in a little bit. So that quadrant, and I want to go straight up to this quadrant. Then escape. I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to draw a line from this quadrant. Going straight down to that quadrant. 
And if you like, you can copy these two lines over to this one, or you can redraw. Either way is fine. I'll just use the copy command. Go ahead and select these two lines. Enter. And then I'm going to use this top center, which is the very first plus at the top. Then I'm going to put it at this center. Escape. Okay, let's go back to cleaning this up. So go back to the trim command. I'm going to trim off the extra long parts of this line here. I'm going to trim this line here, and then I'm going to trim that line to here. Come up just one more step. You can see that this line goes over it, so I'm going to trim right at that location. Okay, so what I'm going to see from this arc that I have highlighted is that I'm going to trim off this portion. And I'm going to keep continuing to follow that arc around. So I'll trim here, then here, then here, and finally here. On this bottom arc that I have, let's go ahead and follow that around. So I'm going to trim off here and keep continuing to follow that arc around until I get to here. Now I can see that line actually stops up here, so I'll go ahead and trim it off from here. And you can see that this side is completed. Let's take a look at this side. So what you're going to see on this bottom arc is that this whole entire arc disappears. So I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'm going to start with this third ellipse going up. So one, two, three, this one. And then I'll trim here. And I'm going to keep continuing to follow that around. So I'm going to trim and keep trimming around that one. Even trimming off these two lines here. Until I only get it to show here in the front. I'm going to next, I'm going to look at this bottom line and I'm going to trim this portion off here. And I'm going to start right here. So I'm trimming out the portion of this arc. I'm just going to keep following that one around. Until it shows up underneath here. This line here that's extended long, I'm going to trim it up here. And one more trim here. That looks like everything that I need to trim. Go ahead and escape. Select your arc here. And go ahead and erase it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this circle and put it on top of this one. So copy, select your ellipse, enter. Go ahead and select the center here. And then put it at that center location here. Escape. And isometrics are kind of one of those things that are not used so much in AutoCAD. But you can see that they are real effective at giving you a, a picture of how the shape should look. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you.